hello so we are back but this time with a special review okay this is a pure review we are not doing advertise on this video i'm not giving you a link from where to buy it so this is just a pure review you know the meaning where people they always send me like nice stuff for review also my screwdriver yeah which i'm still using it miniware yeah uh if you have a look a little bit on their website let's have a look and uh, remember what we review from here so we review the digital tweezer you remember those ones yeah we did a review and the mini digital power supply if you remember we review this then we review this one you remember the solar iron but i will be honest with you the solar iron was brilliant but I could not use it because the cable was a USB-C was uh, very short because there was a lot of current there. The, the charger, if I remember, was like 5 volts. And obviously you have to carry... I, I, I checked, I believe it was carrying like 2.5 amps, something like that. Anyway, I was not happy and I could not use it. Yeah, But the solder iron was brilliant. And then what we review more? And the screwdriver, right? The screwdriver, yeah. This one. And now we have to review the wireless or cordless solder iron, yeah? So they send me one for review, and I'm really happy. I mean, clearly I will use this, just because it has no wires, yeah? Now, this is the solder iron. I'm opening for the first time. I didn't open. I didn't check. So we have the manual here. We have the solar iron, and you know why uh, I'm excited? Because I thought, you know, it's a battery inside. But it's not. It's a super capacitor inside. Yeah, that's how it works. Being a super capacitor, that means the life of this solar iron, you know what I mean? It's not a battery. And we have the tip. Well, actually, we can test this. Then we have the, the base, where actually the solar iron is charging. And we have a few buttons here, probably set up the temperature, and yeah. And we have this cleaner, which probably is coming here. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like that. But I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this. And what do we have here more? Let's see. And we have the charging cable. It's a USB-C. But where is the adapter? One second. Where is the power adapter? Okay, I don't think it's coming with a power adapter. So I believe we can just connect the USB-C here. Let's see. So I'm going to use the meter because I'm curious what power is taking. Okay, on standby, without the, the solar iron, it's taking like 100 milliamps, which is fine. Let's plug the end. Yeah. And they are saying, that's what they are saying, but I, I don't think I can do it. I mean, they are saying you have to do it like this. You have to, yeah, you have to come with the solar iron and do it like this, but I can't do it. Nah. I mean, this is like the way how you are doing it, right? I mean, on my one, yeah, that's why how you're doing. I mean, that's why here are so many dots, because I always miss, you know, I'm not always looking at the solder iron, so I miss. So I believe same thing, it will happen here. Same thing, it will happen here. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you are not looking... You know where you put the solar iron? Yeah. But it's fine. It's good. I mean, probably you have to look because you have here the charging. Uh, yeah. And you can see it's connected by Bluetooth. So it just got detected. And you can see with the solder iron inside, it's taking like 19 volts. Uh, 600 milliamps, which is decent, is decent. Now let me see how I how I compare those things. Let me read the manual. 
which is combined probably Chinese and English. Yeah, we do have English. So we have the work temperature, but you can't really see. So it's like 300. Uh, we can set up up to up to probably like 400 degrees Celsius. But all I need is about 350. Yeah. So that's all what I need. Sleep time 300 second, idle time 300 second, Celsius temperature step one. You know what? What about 10? No? 10 looks better. Backlight, yeah, and some hardware things. Okay, so you are ready for testing. I mean, I can see it's charged, it's taking like 200 milliamps. I believe it's fully charged. Yeah, you can see the battery there. You can see the battery is fully charged. So when I'm pulling this out, what is going to happen? Rosin! Beautiful wireless uh, solar iron. That's beautiful. I mean, you know, no more wires. Everything in those days is wireless. Yeah, let's try something more serious. Yeah, this is working great. Great. Okay, let's do some tests. Let's solder something. Uh, this should hold the charge probably around like 7-8 minutes. I mean, you have like 7-8 minutes, then you put it back. And when you put it back, let's have a look. So 100 milliamps. Yeah, and it's going quickly to like nearly 700, so it's charging. And you can see the charging sign on the screen. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me grab a board and let's do some testing. Eh? Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and here. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, fantastic, right? Let's try something else. Yeah, more challenging. Something more challenging. This is a big board. This is a motherboard. Yeah, uh, a gaming motherboard. So on a gaming motherboard, what do we want to solder? I want to take out a coil. Yeah, so that's a challenge. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, let's try removing a coil. Yeah. Let's try removing a coil. I'm using a little bit of rosin. Rosin there, rosin here. And I will not add low melting temperature solder, yeah? I mean, I want to see if this solar iron is capable of melting the original solder. And look like it is. So with 360, 350 degrees, we can actually remove the coil. Yeah. So it has enough power, you know. It has plenty of power. Yeah, pretty decent. Now let's solder back the coil. So soldering back the coil, let's see. Yeah, when you're using like uh, a different solder compared with the original, then it's easy. I think this one has like 300 degrees the melting temperature. Yeah, so we can easily solder that coil back. Yeah, the coil is soldered. Huh? That's nice. Something more challenging? What we can do more challenging? A capacitor? Let's try a capacitor. I mean, the solar iron, I'm still using it. Yeah, I haven't plugged it on charge. So it's still going strong. Let's see. Yeah, it's melting the solder. And the capacitor, it's out from one side. 
And now this side, this side is more uh, challenging because it's a big truck, so it will suck the heat. But it's still doing fine. I mean, with 350 degrees. That means the buffer from this uh, solder iron is quite decent. Okay, I left it a little bit on charge. Let's try and remove a capacitor, yeah? Yeah, something like that. Can we remove a capacitor with this solder iron? Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, this is low melting solder. Can we do it? Yeah. So we remove the capacitor. Yeah, let me lift, uh, leave the capacitor on one side. What about the next one? Can we remove the next one? Yeah, even the next one is removed. Perfect. A little bit of rosin. And it's like new, right? Yeah. Perfect. So we can remove the capacitors only with the solder iron. I mean, it's quite beautiful. The only downside... Well, yeah, this is probably the default tip. I'm looking for a bend tip, you know, bend uh, and bend, like this one. You can see? So you see the tip on this one is bent. So that will be this kind of tip. It will make this solder iron like perfect, perfect. It's keeping 350 degrees. With 350 degrees, I'm capable to work on uh, a gaming motherboard, which, you know, is sucking the heat. Let's open and have a look inside. I'm curious to see the supercapacitor. And to open this, we have one screw here behind of this uh, cover. Let's use the Miniverse screwdriver to open this screw. Perfect. Now let's take this end. Here you can connect it to the USB-C with a cable. Yeah, and it's getting open. Perfect. So check here, check here. Ha ha. You know, let's just check here, yeah? You see those two wires? Actually, it's a temperature sensor exactly on the on the supercapacitor. Uh, this supercapacitor has uh, 750 farads, yeah? Let's check the voltage. Uh, it's 3.5 volts, you can see on the screen. I mean, this, this is something powerful, you know, this supercapacitor. Yeah, now it's better. So you have the charging circuit, right? Then behind, I can see a switching power. Actually, I can see two switching uh, power supplies, so check there. So we have a small coil and a big coil. I'm curious the big coil what is doing, yeah? Let's see what voltage do we have on the big coil. So we are assuming the ground is common, yeah? So minus plus and we have the we have the the voltage from the capacitor that means this big coil it's used to charge the big capacitor and the small coil probably from the logic yeah 3.4 volts on the small coil hmm this is beautiful I 
mean, th this should be very powerful, right? The, this capacitor. Let's have a look. Let's try to test. How we can test the big capacitor? <laughs> How we can test it? Hmm? I believe that's the way how everyone is testing a big uh, supercapacitor. Yeah, it is melting the wire. Huh? Yeah, that's a that's a great way to test a supercapacitor. Yeah, so it is doing it. Yeah, a lot of power here. A lot of power. Probably the voltage is the same. Yeah, 3.5. It didn't even, you know. I mean, I can try with a bigger wire. But I really like the, the, the solder iron. And I really want to keep it and uh, use it. I'm just curious if they have band tips, but I will look for a band tip and uh, I will uh, I will buy one. Yeah, let me put it all back together. Great. Let's use the same screwdriver to put the screw back. Perfect. Now let's put this end back. Perfect. Now the cover. Yeah, and it's like new. It's like new. And it's working great. Yeah, it's heating up. Perfect. Same rosin smell. So what do you think about this? Hmm? Cool or not? Proper cool. So I will be using this. I mean, I will say thank you. If anyone from anywhere is watching, I'm, I will just say thank you for sending me this. And if anyone is looking, I will leave a link in the description with their website. Yeah. So actually, you can go on their website on the miniware.com. And uh, you can buy it. Yeah, you can uh, just click and you have an Alien uh, Express link. You can buy it from there. But, you know, it's just beautiful. It's a 40 watts solar iron, right? It's a 40 watts one. Yeah, actually, 45 watts. Maximum heating power, 36 watts. Yeah. Charging time, 7 minutes. Oh, look, the capacitor. He's saying the capacitor here. 750 farads. I mean, yeah, we can use a bigger capacitor. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. The screen, it's OLED. Yeah, we have an OLED screen here. This one. This is our OLED screen. Maximum input voltage, 20 volts. I mean, we have 19 volts from the USB. 62 grams. Yeah. So here is uh, like plenty of power on this... Uh, wireless soldering iron i mean 35 watts and we have like seven minutes to work you say just you know it's just beautiful we have the miniware logo there beautiful okay so i'll stop now i would say uh thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video like always and if you are looking for a cool tool and miniware miniware they're a company they are doing actually very good stuff i mean i'm using this screwdriver from like a few years and still going fine and the battery it's just you know just good quality tools that's that's how i will uh, that's how we'll call the miniware company good quality tools so uh see you on the next one bye